In this experiment, we are using the network analyzer to show the time and frequency characteristics of a cable and then we compare that with the time and frequency characteristic of a radio channel. Uh, this is a cable, the input to the uh, to the network analyzer and this is the output to the network analyzer. The length of this cable is about uh, 6 feet. What you see on the screen is the frequency response of this cable between 900 to 1.1 gigahertz. As you see it's almost a straight line and there is some little noise on top of that. But more or less it's like a steady. Now we go to the time response to see how is the response of this cable in time domain. This one is the time response which is a very a stable pulse uh, that represents it, which has some delay at the beginning. That delay in the beginning designates the time that it has taken for the pulse to go from one end of the cable to the other end of the cable. And now we took that uh, cable and in one side we had added an antenna to the network analyzer. The other end is the same cable but we took it away and put another antenna on top of it. So now I have two antennas. They are about like six feet apart. Right. And what we see is like uh, the response. Here is the frequency response now. As you see the frequency response has these deep nulls in that. These deep nodes, they are referred to as, uh, as frequency selective fading because it's at different frequencies and changes these frequencies. Okay? Right. And the value of these fades, they change. Okay? Now, what will happen is that now it starts to change. Change the antenna, location of the antenna. Yeah. So See? The location changes. Location of the deep yeah. fade changes all over the place and the whole scenario, so if you were operating in this place for example when I move the antenna suddenly it becomes good, suddenly it becomes bad okay, so that's the problem so wherever you are everything is changing okay, now let's, uh, so the main uh, item in here is like frequency selectivity of the channel and the fact that it's always moving okay, as compared with the cable which was very steady okay, now we go to the time domain response this is the time domain response See, in time domain now, in there we had only one pulse, in here we have like several pulses. Okay, this is a very good situation because antennas, they are seeing one another, so it's line of sight. So it's a very clean radio channel, but it's still I have many paths. As soon as I start to move this thing, see? The multi-path structure changes. You have different paths, the strength of them change. If somebody comes in between, do you want to stand up in between the two antennas? Uh, stand up in with see now the strength comes very very low yes. and we have a lot of multipath this multipath are getting spreaded all over the place they call it multipath spread that will cause problems for communication that's the main problem of the radio channels so two problems one is this multipath spread existence of multipath and a spreading of the multipath. It's one major problem. The other one is frequency selective fading. Means that at certain frequencies you're going to have suddenly deep nulls, a lot of loss of power. That's why that design in wireless is much more difficult than the design for the wired models.